Hello ladies and gents, hope you're okay. After a short little break, we're back with another Wednesday workout. So obviously we're still in lockdown. Things may stay the same for a while, they may change. Who knows, let's see what happens. But today, I'm literally gonna show you a workout where you near enough don't even have to leave your sofa, okay? So today, we're gonna look at the core, working the abs. So we've already looked at legs, we've looked at back, we've looked at chest, shoulders, triceps, biceps. Let's have a little look at the core. So I'm assuming that nearly all of you have got some form of sofa. If not, you might have a footstool, you might have a chair. You can do this on your window ledge. Don't fall out the window, but you can do this anywhere around your home. So today we're gonna to look at a little five little exercises. I'm gonna go through them and then you can add them together. Turn these into a timed workout maybe. You could do 30 seconds of these, repeat through five times, or you could do it 45 seconds to a minute. You can even keep it in the repetitions form that we've been through before, the three sets of 15, the four sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. We're working that core. First workout I'm gonna show you, really easy, just raising your heels. So you literally just sit on the end of your sofa or whatever you've got, put your arms up, bring your legs up. So you need that at a 45 degree angle and bring your legs up and contract back out. Breathing in and pushing back out, working the core. Now, if you wanna make that a little bit faster, we can do some V crunches. We can tilt ourselves back up, Bring those legs in nice and fast. Work in the core like so. Just like that, working away. Good. Next one, we've got our third workout, the Russian twist. Now most people have probably done Russian twists before. Different ways you could do them on the floor. I'll show you the sofa way as well. You can use anything, pillow. And today, we've got some beans and some mayonnaise. All I want you to do, again, is coming back, bring your legs up tilt all the way around your body with your item. A little bit of resistance will help you work that core like such. Keep it going away. If you struggle a little bit with your back, you can even do it, sat up straight. And if you wanna make it even harder, add some kicks into it with the legs, working the legs, making them stronger. Next one, we're gonna come off the sofa and we're gonna come down to the floor, the plank. Now, most of you guys have done a plank before, keep working on pushing out the core. Here's a little twist to it. Come down in your plank position, taking some home appliances or whatever you've got, some food, pushing out. Staying in this position for your time, pushing out. Extra strength and pressure on the core and then you're using whatever you've got for resistance. And our fifth and final workout today is planks, but extending it up into a twist. Coming up into a plank, taking an item, coming on up, all the way through, coming back on up, trying to do 10 to 15 repetitions each side on that one. We're gonna work our core and our obliques, which is the side here, so which forms the whole abdominal wall. Change it around the other side. You can do it again to work your other side of your obliques to get rid of those love handles, as some people call them. So there's a core workout for you, and I will see you again next Wednesday where we're gonna do something a little bit different. Take care, and I'll see you then.